Hello, and welcome to another edition of Good Deeds. It is brought to you by JustServe.org. If you're looking for ways to make this a better community and to make a difference in people's lives, well, JustServe.org is a great place to go to find organizations that are doing wonderful things every day in our community, and you can get connected and start volunteering your time. JustServe.org. It's a great place to start. Today, we are learning more about Cal Voices, and we're talking with Stephanie Ramos. Thank you for being on Good Deeds, and thank you for the work you're doing in our our community. Thank you, Cheryl. I re really, really appreciate it and giving us this time to be able to talk about all the things that we do. Absolutely. So who do you primarily serve? Um, so our uh, primary audience are individuals who are having mental health or substance use challenges. Um, it could be folks who are having severe challenges. It, it could also be individuals that are just kind of starting maybe to struggle a little bit and they just need to reach out and get some support. And, you know, I think, well, I don't just think there has actually been scientific evidence that ever since the pandemic started, we are in a growing mental health crisis in our nation. Have you seen the evidence of that locally here in Sacramento? Yes, we've seen a lot. Um, for, for people that don't know, like isolation is a risk factor for developing mental health challenges. And we know that during the pandemic that people experience a lot of isolation. And I think due to anxiety, we're still seeing people um, kind of experiencing that isolation, not getting social support, not having those connections. And so we're definitely seeing an increase um, and that I, I also think through the you know pandemic and especially with our young people, we've really opened the conversation around mental health challenges. And so I think part of it also is that people are more comfortable talking about it. So we're hearing um, a lot more from folks. So what kind of things, what kind of programs do you offer? What kind of services do you offer to help people that are experiencing these challenges? Yeah, so we kind of offer an array of services. Um, we provide uh, advocacy and policy advocacy um, at the statewide level as well as locally, um, really focusing on the perspective of individuals who are having those challenges. Um, we provide training and education. So we offer um, organizations trainings on mental health. Um, and we also have a certification program that if someone is in recovery from a mental health or substance use challenge, they can actually get a certification to work in the field. Um, and then as far as direct services, we have a uh, kind of drop in wellness center in Amador County where anyone can kind of come in, get support, get resources, attend a support group. Um, and here in Sacramento County, we have something called the community support team. Um, where we actually pair individuals in recovery with a clinician that goes out and responds to community members who kind of need support, need someone to come check in on them, um, need connection to services. Um, and we also have a warm line. So that's like, you're not in a crisis yet, but you really need someone to talk to so you don't get in the crisis. Um, and so we offer that uh, to Sacramento County residents as well. Yeah, I think that's what a lot of people don't realize is uh, with things like substance abuse issues that really starts with things like anxiety and depression, mm -hmm. isolation, not really having a healthy outlet. And so then a lot of people try to self-medicate. And so mm -hmm. but if you can get to the root of that through programs like yours, then you can solve a lot of problems that way. Yeah, absolutely. One of the things that our Warmline program offers is something called Wellness Recovery Action Plan. And that plan actually helps people identify like, what are my triggers? And, you know, when we don't identify our triggers, then it's like, oh, I'm going to go have that drink because I'm dealing with something and I don't know what to do about it. And that plan helps you identify the trigger and also create an action plan. Like, what are all my options when that trigger happens and how can I kind of address that trigger in a healthy way? Well, it's important that people know that services like yours exist mm -hmm. because, you know, if it, in absence of knowing that help is available, people are going to do whatever they can do to try to feel better. But we got to get the word out. That's why I wanted to interview you on this program and get the word out about these services that you offer. Um, how can people, how can we as the community volunteer our time, our resources? How can we help you help people? Yeah, so we have um, two main volunteer opportunities. One of them is at our wellness center. We're always looking for volunteers um, to come out and just, you know, support with socialization, maybe facilitate support groups, maybe provide like physical labor because um, it, it is a center. There's a lot to do. Um, but here in Sacramento, we are always looking for volunteers for our warm line. Um, so if you have experienced your own recovery or maybe you're like a family member of someone you've supported, we're always looking for folks who are willing to kind of answer 
those calls um, and kind of give that reassurance, connection to resources um, and things like that. And we, we do provide a training for our volunteers. Um, and so if folks are interested in that, they can visit our website, which is www.calvoices.org. Um, if you scroll down to the bottom, there is a link. It says donate your time um, and you can click on that link, fill out a brief application, tell us what we're in, you're interested in, um, and then we'll connect you with one of our program managers to get you plugged into that. Love it. And yeah, we'll get the website up here on the screen. And if you visit, you can find out all you need to know about Cal Voices and volunteering. Thank you so much for your time. And thank you so much for this very important work you're doing for people in our community. Thank you. I really appreciate it and really appreciate the opportunity to get the word out and let people know how they can get support and get involved. Absolutely.